Amen. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Amen. Praise, Praise the, Lord. the Lord. Thank you, Sister Sharon, for those words of encouragement. In fact, the, the little song service you all just had here, I love the first song, first time I hear that one. <laughs> but I never see how to teach me that one. But <laughs> had me jump in. <laughs> but God is good, and we thank you for being here with us today, wherever you are in the world, in the Caribbean, in Trinidad and Tobago. We thank you for being with us. Thank you, Pastor Eddie for those words of encouragement and for the introduction. And I trust that the church today will be blessed. Amen. Yeah. Amen. With our heads bowed and eyes closed, good God of love, we thank you for being on this platform. Uh, and where folks are listening right now, I pray that God, you will, you will tremendously bless them. We pray also for those who haven't yet accepted you as the personal savior through this message of god uh, they will find some seven events wherever they are the neighbor whoever it is oh god and, and, and ask them to to study with them and to give their life to you in the name of jesus i pray that you will hide me again behind the cross of calvary let christ be seen and let him be lifted up oh god help us to know that the gospel is not for entertainment, but Lord, it's to save lives. And I trust that through your word today, somebody will be saved. Hide me behind the cross of Calvary. And let Christ be seen today. And let Christ be lifted up. And may we have a personal walk with God today. In Jesus' wonderful name. Amen. 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 And amen. amen. It started off with Joseph. We know the whole Exodus story. Uh, Joseph was sold into Egypt by his brothers. We, we, we know it. And in Egypt, Joseph became the second man to the Pharaoh. The farming had, 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 had now started, and so in Canaan, his family had to come and buy stuff. And so Joseph saw his brothers and uh, to cut a long story short, his, his brothers were forgiven and his whole family, along with his father, <coughs> was brought down to Egypt and uh, they, 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 they had to settle in the land of Goshen. Now God had promised to Abraham and Isaac that he will bless his people. And through Abraham, from the blessing that God put on Abraham, it branched off to the children of Jacob. And so in the land of Goshen, in Egypt, they were blessed so much that Joseph came off the scene and the Pharaoh came off the scene and another Pharaoh came. And that Pharaoh said, maybe these people, <coughs> they, 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 they may become an army and overthrow us, so uh, let's make them work for us. And so uh, the children of Israel, they had forgotten what Joseph had told them. After the farming, go back home. But they refused to go back home because of the blessings that they received. And they began to multiply everything that they put their hands to. It was blessed by God. And so they were made slaves for 430 years. The children of Israel were in Egypt, being beaten, being ridiculed. And so right in the heart of Egypt, God had his man, preparing his man. And we know what happened with Moses and how he had to leave Egypt and God move him away so that 40 years, God will have to train Moses, Moses and, and, and God will have to humble him. In fact, the Bible records that Moses was one of the most humblest person, caring person. And so now God sent him back to Egypt. We know the whole episode of what took place. I'm just billing right now. All the whole episode, what took place with he 
and Pharaoh. And finally, God decided that this is the night that my people shall be delivered. And so the children of Israel moved out of Egypt. And out of Egypt, they were stopped by the Red Sea. They didn't know which way to move, which way to turn, where to go. And God hardened the heart of Pharaoh once more. And we talk about Ella for reading our scripture reading. Exodus chapter 14 and verse 10. And the Bible says, And when Pharaoh drew nigh, the children of Israel lifted up their eyes. And behold, the Egyptians marched after them. And they were so afraid. And the children of Israel cried out unto the Lord. And, and this is our message today. How when you are troubled, in fact, when you need healing and you need a miracle, you need a job, you need God to work for you, cry out unto God what you say. When darkness, the darkness of this world, try to overshadow you, how mountains of issues on every side of your life, my friends, you need to cry out to God. When you look at the mountains, and my friends, you keep climbing these mountains day after day. And, 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 and I realize that some people reach, almost reach the mountaintop. Jesus is about to come, and some people just want to go back down because they feel that they can't make it. I'm saying to you, cry out to God. Yes, sir. Yes. Yes. When you look back, when you look back and you see the enemy, let me tell you, the enemy is not coming to pat you on the back. Yeah. The Bible says the enemy is coming to steal, to kill, and to destroy. He is coming to steal your joy for all these years you have been with Jesus. All these years things have been going good. And now Jesus is about to come when he starts to throw in the towel. He's trying to steal your joy. The devil is trying to kill every desire that you have to serve Jesus. You want to study the word of God, but it kills that desire and make you occupied with something else. You want to pray, and the devil even kills that desire to pray. You want to sing a song even when you are discouraged, but the song just can't come. I'm saying to you, cry out to God, my friends. Amen, amen. Oh, yes, oh, yes. Because the enemy is not playing games. And he wants to also destroy. Not just destroy your physical body. Not just destroy you for not even having the chance to say, Lord, forgive me. But my friends, the devil has destroyed our first love. Remember the times when we used to tell others about God's love? Uh, well, no matter where we are, we want to share God's word uh, because that first love, uh, uh, the Holy Ghost is boiling up within us and we must open our mouths to talk to somebody. Uh, when somebody's in need, we reach out to them, my friends. But the devil has killed our first love. Let's see. Let's and when we look at the sea, we see no hope of survival. Well, let me tell you something. When you cry out to God, God can use the mountain. God can use your enemy. God can use the sea and deliver you. All you got to do is trust God because deliverance will come. Amen. Amen. When we cry out to God, when we cry out to God, ladies and gentlemen, when we pray, we must believe what we are telling God. Are you listening to me this morning? Oh, yeah. Yes, sir. You can't talk to God uh, about something and you don't even believe what you are telling God. True. Sure. That's right. Faith must come alive. We must learn to trust God at his word. And when we do that, a thousand may fall at our side. Ten thousand at our right hand, but they can't touch you because God is in charge. <laughs> our enemies one day will become our foot soon. You know why? Because God told me, Lewis, you are the apple of my eye. Amen, amen. He, he's our shield and our buckler. 
And I'm not afraid, my friends, of what the world could do to me because Jesus is in charge of my life. Look at verse 11. Verse, look at verse 11 and 12. Oh, when I read that, it kind of shocked me. Yes. We just read that the children of Israel cry out to the Lord. Did we read that? Yeah. But here in verse 11, it says, And they said unto Moses, Because there were no grave in Egypt, hast thou taken us away to die in the wilderness? Wherefore hast thou dealt thus with us to carry us forth out of Egypt? Is it not this word that we have told thee in Egypt, saying, Let us alone, that we may serve the Egyptians, for it had been better for us to serve the Egyptians than that we die in the wilderness? I wonder how God might have felt. I wonder how God might have felt with one breath they cried out to the Lord and with another breath they cursed Moses. I wonder, I can imagine how God might have felt because deliverance was not in Moses. Deliverance was in God. All right. The pastors and the elders might be able to pray for you. They might speak with you. Uh, they might counsel you. But my friends, it is God who is working behind the scene for your deliverance. So don't blame nobody for your lack of faith in God. Jesus said, be it according to your faith. So while... Oh, While well, they were complaining, they were crying. In fact, uh, they wanted to take Moses and deliver him back to Pharaoh. They wanted to take Moses and even stone him. Moses stood up and Moses said in verse 13 and 14, my friends, Moses said, stand still and see the salvation of God. The people that you are seeing today, the Egyptians who are coming after us today, you will see them no more forever. Just trust God as we call on him. But you notice know, something, uh, my friends, uh, we call on, 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 on pastors many times to pray, and we call on the elders to pray, uh, and we call on the prayer intercessors to pray. Nothing's wrong in folks praying for us, but my friends, when God told Moses in verse 15, what you complaining to me for, tell the people to go forward. Yes, sir. You know what God was doing? God was, God was telling Moses, come out the picture. Just tell the people. Now, if there was a child or a teenager or a senior person who had just go forward, that, my friends, the, the, the sea would have opened. What God is trying to do is to help us to develop our own faith. Last night we heard about having our own relationship with God. Oh, yes. Huh? Pastor can have my relationship with God for me. Your elders can do it. No prayer intercessor can get my relationship with God for me. I must want that relationship for myself. Amen. Amen. Come on, come on. It's time, my friends, we develop our own relationship. You want a miracle? Oh, you don't have to call somebody to pray for your miracle. You just talk to God and believe it with all your heart. Come on, preacher. It's time to have your own faith in God. It's time that we pray and we believe what we are telling God. Oh, pastor, please pray for me. Can the elders, uh, I need so much prayer. Intercessors, please come uh, intercede with me. I need you to pray with me. Nothing's wrong with that, my friends. We need the prayers of those that we love. But my friends, one day the pastor will be off the scene. Uh -huh. Oh, one day that pastor, uh, not Pastor Eddie, but uh, 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 the, uh, pastor, maybe hang up. To be crucified. One day our elders could be thrown into a lion's den. One day our ancestors could be thrown in jail. What about your faith in God? Amen. Amen. 
Nothing wrong in praying for others, my friends, but you need to have a personal relationship with God. Young people, I'm talking to you if you're hearing me right now. It's time that we start praying for ourselves. Amen. The time of trouble will come. Mm. And when the pastor is not there, and the elders are not there, and the intercessors are not there, and those who have been depending on to help us along the way are not there, it will be you and God's spirit alone. True. Crowd to God, ladies and gentlemen. And sometimes we forget where we came from. <laughs> Did you hear me? Yeah. We forget where we came from. How we forget the burning bush that didn't burn. Uh, we forget when we ask God, God, can I see your face? And, uh, and God is willing to show you his face. He's willing to show you who he is from his word, my friends. So he takes us and he puts us in the cleft of the rock and he says, when I pass, just take a look. And my friends, uh, when we when as God pass by and we see God's goodness, my friends, we fall dead. We cry out like Daniel, oh wretched man that I am. Like Paul, who shall deliver me from this body of death? And God is willing to show us who he is. We, we forgot that when we fell dead, dead in sin, dead in trespasses and sin, dead to the world, my friends, God raised us up. Amen. We forget that stuff that God has given to us. Uh, that turned to a serpent and eat up our enemies and then turn back a staff. We forgot the water turned to blood on the Egyptian side and we had fresh water to drink, which means that God will provide for us despite sometime it may come late, but it will come. Amen. 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 We forget the frogs. I came out of the water and, 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 and the dust that turned to rice and we forget uh, all the, the, the flies and the cattle, man and beast getting boils and, and dying in the hill that came with fire. We forget the locusts and the, and the darkness that came and the, and, and, and the first born that died in Egypt. We forget how much God has been working for us and it's time that we go back. And remember where we came from because God wants to have this intimate personal relationship with us and it can't happen in a crowd because in a crowd sometimes we're not focused but if you mean if you mean business with God my friends we have to forget uh, um, all the things that happened to us don't forget also uh, where God has brought you from how he treated you we long for freedom because we could still feel the lash of the master's whip every day we can feel it it's terror all over the world. Terror in every place and nook and cranny, even right in our own homes. There's terror, but God is willing to deliver. We long to sing a song on the other side, my friends. Moses said, stand still and see the salvation of the God. Let me tell you, <clears throat> while you are building up strength, to do God, save yourself the trouble, and just trust God, believe God, have faith in God, my friends. And I love it when the children of Israel, you know, when they went through the Red Sea, and they reached the other side, and they saw what God has done. Miriam said, look, can somebody just give me a tambourine? And she took all the women and they began to sing praises unto God. They began to rejoice, they drunk, they laughed. And that's why I could tell people, I could tell folks, leave me alone when I praise my Jesus because you don't know Amen. what God has done for me. So when I shout hallelujah, don't turn around and look at me. My friends, I know where I came from. I know what God has done for me. Yes, 
You don't know what I've been through in Egypt. Uh, uh, the Pharaoh, my friends, one of these days, Pharaoh going to appear again. And it seems as though as we get close to the end of time, we can see that Pharaoh is marching up, marching on his army against all the people of God. Mm. Those who keep the commandments of God and have the testimony of Jesus Christ. He's marshalling his force. Egypt is about to show up on the seventh day of Adventist doorstep one of these days. Yes, Triumphs is going to come. We're going to meet with the mountains and the sea and the army behind us. Yes, sir. And what will carry us shoot? Yes. Faith in God, my friends. Yes, sir. Amen. Long for that day when Jesus will come. Pastor, can I make an appeal? Yes, sir. I, I'm talking to those who haven't yet accepted Christ as a personal savior. Yes. Wherever you are living right now in this world, God is talking to you as an individual. You have been through it all. Governments around the world, my friends, they don't know what to do. Again, uh, with this COVID virus, they don't know what to do. They don't know what to tell people. They don't know how to encourage people anymore. There is no hope in man. The only hope that we have is in Jesus. And I'm saying to you, give your life to Christ. Amen. Amen. Yeah. Find somebody. That's right, that's yeah. right. Find somebody who's living next to you, who's a seven Adventist. Find a pastor. Tell him, hey, I want to accept Jesus as my personal savior because I want to be saved when Jesus comes. My friends, let me tell you this. One of these days, we'll get to the other side. I love it. I say we will get to the other side as rough as the sea may be, as terrible as the army may be coming, as high as the mountain is. One of these days we will get to the other side. And I'm longing to get to the other side, ladies and gentlemen. Amen. 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 Right now, right now I can hear Gabriel telling the other angels, get your trumpets ready. Shine those trumpets because the blast that it will take, my friends, is not going to split the Red Sea, but it's going to split the sky. Yes. It's going to split so wide open that it's going to roll back together as a scroll. Yes, sir. Someday we'll get to the other side. Oh yes. Praise God. One of these days, we're gonna sing and never get tired. Oh yes. We'll wear clothes that don't need no washing. We'll put on shoes that need no polish. We'll have a body that will not get cuts and bruises and worms, my friends. Uh, but it will be immortality. One of these days we'll have a mind uh, that no sin will be around. You're going to face your crucibles. You're going to face your trials. You're going to face a death. Along this way, some of us might die, ladies and gentlemen. But, but don't you worry. Jesus never said that you won't die. But what I heard him say is that the dead in Christ is going to rise. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. Never say that you won't cry, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, because under the pressure of this world and the governments that will come down on this church, my friends, you're going to cry. Pain's going to come. But Jesus says, don't, I didn't tell you not to cry. What I told you is going to wipe your tears away. Oh, yes. There'll be no more sin and darkness and, and death. But there'll be joy forevermore. Amen. So I'm asking you by God's grace. Those of us who are planning to leave the church because, because uh, it has COVID, some, sometimes folks slip away through the cracks. I'm asking you by God's grace. Hang in there. It's just a few more days to be filled with praise. Yes. And to tell the old, old story. Just hang in there until Jesus comes. And finally, the devil is going to do all in his power to bring us back to Egypt. But we can't turn back now. Oh, yes. there, there's no room in the back, ladies and gentlemen. And whenever God says, go forward, 
if even though you don't see the bridge and you can't see a way out, you just have to move forward. And God is going to do the rest. Amen. So not because you don't have food stuff in your kitchen, you go and work on Sabbath. Uh, not because the things are so tight uh, that, that, that all you have is God's tents and offering. You, you will use it. You got to learn to trust God. And this message today is based on faith in God. Amen. Your faith in God, your trust in God, and your everything in God. Don't leave for God, my friends. And if the world turns their back and the, all the church members leave the church and God says, yeah, you stay and serve God in spirit and in truth. Go forward. Amen. 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 To all our members, Amen. don't give up on Jesus. Amen. Did you hear me? Yes, sir. Yes. All our members, don't yes. give up on Jesus. Whatever you could do for God now, you just do it. And God is gonna, God is gonna multiply those blessings. Do I ever say that you can't do it? You, if you could sing a song for Jesus, you just sing the song with a prayer in your heart, so it, it could touch somebody's heart. If you have to testify, testify, not taking praise to yourself, but my friends, when you testify, it will help somebody to turn their life all over to Jesus. If you have to preach the word, preach it without fear or favor, but with the love of Jesus in your heart, my friends. If you have to give a Bible study, go after that person and and go after them. It will take a year, two years to see them give their life to Christ. But my friends, don't give up on God's work. Stay with God. Hallelujah. Amen. Yes, sir. And at the end, when all is said and done, yes. COVID and bird flu, mm. mad cow disease and cancer, all, all kidney problems and heart failure, when all is said and done, one day, there'll be no more pain, no more debt, no more sorrow, no more wrinkles, ladies and gentlemen, uh, but it will be joy forevermore. We we'll live the ceaseless ages of eternity with Jesus. Take your problems right now. Take your enemy coming against you. Take the sea and acknowledge it. Look at the mountains. And my friends, when you look at the mountains, take your eyes off the mountains and look at Jesus and the mountains will become a flat plain, ladies and gentlemen, as you, as you walk with God. And as you talk with God, as you become intimate with God for yourself, pray fast for yourself and with yourself. And at the end, we'll be saved in God's eternal kingdom. You might not have all the joy today, but one day we could look at each other in heaven and smile and say we made it. Oh, I thought I couldn't make it, but we made it! Yes, sir. The night seems dark! Amen. The night seems dark, and it seems as though it's not going to happen, but we have made it in Jesus' name. Amen. With your heads bowed and your eyes closed. Good God of love, we thank you for your word today. Oh, God, we really, really want to trust you. Yes, sir. We really want to have faith in you as individuals. As children, oh God, as though they hear those children's stories, oh God, develop their little faith. May they learn to trust you even when uh, sometimes as children we, we love you and our parents don't love you. Our parents are not seven Adventists, but we love you. Oh God, help these little, little minds to learn to trust you. Develop their little faith. So as, as they talk with you and to you, oh God, uh, their, their faith will develop so much that, Lord, as you answer their prayer, as they get bigger, oh God, they'll, they'll be of service to your cause. Before all the young people, teenagers, God, plenty of people talk about preparation, but uh, what young people are supposed to do and uh, what they shouldn't do and all that. But God, if these young people will just love Jesus for who he is, Father, you will, you will show them their purpose in this life. It's good that they go to school and they study and they get all their subjects and, Lord, they get a good job, but, Lord, it is better when they know you for themselves, oh, Jesus. So I pray for them. I pray for all our senior folks. 
from 1920 go up, oh God. I pray for them that the faith will not diminish. Because this is the end. Jesus is about to come. And Father, please, by your grace, develop their faith more. May they learn to trust you more. May they believe in you more. May they, may they when they talk to you, God, I pray that you will answer their prayer. And all our leaders in the district, in, in our churches, throughout the country, in the Caribbean, oh God, into American division, in the world, oh God, I pray for them at this time, Lord, that they will stay faithful to you. And as we get to the other side, and we meet Jesus, which is our greatest joy, to sing with holy angels, to go from planet to planet, oh God, uh, not with a space suit, oh God, but in the righteousness of Jesus Christ. We'll say, we have made it by God's grace. So thank you for hearing our prayer. We pass the Eddie as he continue to lead out in this district. His family, his daughter, his son, his wife. Oh God, be them. That they too will support him. And uh, Lord, they, 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 they'll be the channel by which he can just go to for so some encouragement. Oh God, be, be, be with us all, all our elders, leaders in the district, oh God. That we develop our own personal relationship and faith in you. And when you come, save us, we pray. In Jesus' wonderful name. Amen. 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 The Lord. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. What I spoke.